Okay, this station, what we have here is actually a cloud-based uh, infotainment system as what they call, uh, Continental will call it cloud terminal. So what you're looking at is something akin to the uh, portrait mode uh, infotainment system. As I mentioned earlier on in my other car reviews, portrait now makes more sense than horizontal-based uh, infotainment screens. So what, this, what, what makes this different is that instead of having everything install inside your car, you have a hard disk, you have everything in there and everything is run on a local uh, server basis. This, all these are HTML5 based and it runs off the cloud. So one of the, exam one of the benefits of running this over the cloud is say for example, this we have uh, like digital radio, right? So we got used to this. It shows the uh, singer, the song, you know, the radio station. These are pretty much normal, like what we have in Spotify and all that. Now this is showing what the back end actually shows. Okay, say for example, um, this is a, a, a weekly schedule. Of course, this is not displayed in the screen because this shows what the system understands. All right. So you have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Say, for example, in the afternoon, uh, in every Thursday, right, um, you, you usually listen to World News FM. So on that day itself, on that day itself, as you got on your car, it will actually change to this. Why? Say, for example, certain radio stations, they have different shows, right? They have different shows at different time. Uh, where some of some of the shows are, are those that you like, you actually like the DJ and all that. And then when you got on your car during that time, it will switch to that program. So this is very smart and it's one of the benefits of having a cloud-based system. The other thing, say for example, if we go to navigation now, um, oops, okay. Say, for example, if we go to navigation now, this is our current location. All these are cloud-based as well. And as we come back to here, showing what the car understands, say, again, I'll pick another day, uh, morning on Tuesday, we need to go to... This is the, usually the place that we go to. As you go into your car, it, the suggestions will be changed to your usual schedule of that day so that it, it knows what's going on, all right? This is another very good example of why cloud-based makes a lot of sense. And then the other thing would be, say for example, your calendar. Your, yep, okay. Oh, there's a, a certain, certain time frame that, that they, have, they have displayed. Say for example, if this is synced through our mobile phone, all right? Normally when we set schedule, you know, you reply your email and say that, yeah, uh, th thanks for the meeting, it's nine to 11. You slot this as your meeting time, right? To meet uh, Mr. Anderson. But this is the meeting time. What about the traveling time? So for a cloud-based system, right? They can add microservices. Say for example, there are, there are other microservices that they can add in to display now, now, as I press this, if you see this, this is supplied by maybe another vendor where they will supply this. And when this is added into your schedule, it adds the, meet, the traveling time from your current location, which is this time. You need to start traveling to meet Mr. Anderson. And then after that, your traveling time to your next appointment. These are some of the benefits of having a cloud-based uh, infotainment system of what Continental would call it cloud terminal. To allow authentication, please look at the inside rear view mirror. Camera is here. Facial recognition. You are now allowed to start the vehicle. Wow. In order to start the car, please hold down the brake and press the start button on the central screen. Let's go. Here it is. Fantastic. So driver, driver welcome comes from the car. Mm -hmm. while pers uh, personal identification and data connection are established on the cloud. Yeah. All right? Yeah. yeah. So all the data are coming from the cloud. There is nothing in this car. For example, if I want, so I showed you how to set uh, temperature. I can also set music I want to listen to. I want to listen to Madonna. And here it here it comes. So it's a real-time request. The and it's processed in the, in the cloud. Yes, the sentence is sent to the Conti cloud, then sent to a module to extract keywords. So mm -hmm. listen and artist name. Yeah. And at the end, the wall request is sent to Deezer, which mm -hmm. streams <coughs> down the music in the car. Lovely. It's quite fast. It's uh, satisfying, let's say.
Mm. So, um, so the, this display offers uh, a big automotive um, interface, so we can access to features using big icons. Yep. And it provides so access to services at the top. Um, notifications as you saw in the middle yep. and uh, ambience and comfort as you uh, saw at the bottom. Mm -hmm. So rotary usage depend mm -hmm. on the context. Yep. But if I don't like vocal control, I can still use my good old rotary. Yeah, uh, yes. Yeah. Mm. So now let's go for a ride. Okay. So the system proposes me the best suitable destination depending on my agenda. So when you engage drive, it goes into navigation? Yes. Momentarily. Very clever. The speed limiter is set to 50 km per hour. So the, the data, the, the car is connected to a speed limit database. So one more time, the data comes from the cloud. Mm -hmm. and. Uh, it can set the speed limiter accordingly. Can you accelerate past 50 now? So we deactivated the speed limiter for the demonstration. Okay. But the function is ready for implementation. I see. Just we missed the infrastructure. Okay. So this is an example of car sharing ecosystem. Mm -hmm. So Paul addressed a request okay, to be picked up. Ah, okay, it's added to the it's journey. It's added in the, this uh, interface, which is going to show everything is going to happen along the trip. So, yes, yeah, somebody has rang at the door. It's another example of at connection home. with ecosystem. So, connected yep. home. So, yep. I know this man. He yep. came to deliver some goods. Oh. So wow. The door. Wow. Amazing. So, I interacting with infrastructure. Time. Yep. So I'm going. No, I won't pick up Paul because I, I have no C3. So sorry for yeah. Paul. All right. <laughs> um, so all along my trip is displayed all the e Horizon features and mm -hmm. services are made visible. So I can access to this kind of services that I can get a bit of money. It's a proposal to complete a survey. Mm -hmm. So sometimes while driving, when you are, when you are stuck in a, mm -hmm. uh, in a traffic jam, then you have time to, for, to, to do this. Yeah. So the timeline has aggregated all information available regarding my profile. I set my uh, preferences and then information came uh, according to these preferences. Yeah. So ah. this is a e-horizon weather alert and the user contributes to create reliable data okay. to cross uh, forecasts with the, the, the weather uh, service. Mm. So the home heater is on because it detects your distance to home? Yes, and okay. it, detects, it detects that it's raining. Okay, <laughs> oh and wow! Weather is becoming cooler. <laughs> wow, wow. So my car is reminding me that I'm close to running out of fuel, so I'm I am proposed to drive to Total. Mm -hmm. So the petrol okay, company. Uh, on my route I can monitor traffic ahead yeah. using traffic webcams. Okay. So it's another uh, example of relation with infrastructure. Yeah. So, the petrol station I go is the, the last one I got a subscription with before warning lights comes on. Yeah. So, it's a kind of win-win partnership. Uh, Total is involved in this interaction. Yeah. And so, the petrol station will interact with the car when I will stop over there. Ah. So it's another example of uh, infrastructure interaction. Mm -hmm. Wow. Please proceed to pump number four. And I got an advice for uh, queuing optimization to go to pump number four. 
bomb. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to stop at the petrol station. Yep. And during my stop, so the petrol station proposed, proposed, sorry, proposed to me what action I want to do. So I want to fill my tank. Yep. So I am proposed uh, fuel. Mm. I would put in my tank regarding my driver profile one more time. So I select this one. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to set the quantity and fill the tank. So in real life, I would have to fill the tank still. But we could uh, add more value by uh, proposing um, premium service, for example, for wow. disabled people. So yeah. an attendant could, could pour the tank. Yeah. Or uh, for VIPs also. Yeah. So during the stop, the petrol station proposes to me some commercial offers. Yeah. And I'm going to validate payment with car sharing company. Ah. And here it goes. So your car actually tells the system that your water level is low, and then it this data is sent to the petrol station. The petrol station yeah. gives you a proposal yes. to buy straight. Wow. It's all these are connected. All these are connected. So it means also it's a new business model. Yeah. Because partnerships have to be set between car manufacturers. One of the windows is yeah. open. So and this. Off the air conditioning to save fuel. Uh, ah. No. <laughs> this is an example of a proactive uh, function. Yeah. Where the system takes initiatives, anticipating driver action. Wow. So it's not only a command control relation.